Hallelujah. Can you please walk up to five people and say, Happy Easter, Happy Easter. He's not in the grave. It's risen. He's alive. This is the best part of Christianity. He's no longer in the grave. He's risen. He's risen. Jesus Christ is risen. Hallelujah. Walk up to another 10 people. Tell them, Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. He's risen. He's alive. He's alive. leader. All the religious leaders died but their graves are still there. I remember the first time my husband and I went to Israel as we were about to enter where Jesus was buried. Archaeologists have told us that that's where. Just before we entered the, clay, the cave we saw a sign. He is not here. He's risen. He's still there in Israel. Therefore I wanted to pray, number one, everything that is still here in my life that should not be there by reason of Jesus' resurrection, I command you to disappear. You have few minutes to pray. Every sickness, every financial pain, every disfavor, everything that should not be in my life, every relationship, that should not accompany my destiny by reason of this Easter, the celebration of my Lord and Savior, the monarch of the universe himself. I decree that you disappear. Every family issue, every financial issue, every psychological issue, every physical issue, every issue, mention them before the Lord in my life, in the lives of my family members, by reason of Easter, this is my opportunity. I decree, in the name of Jesus Christ, disappear. Disappear. You are no longer there. Because when he rose, I rose with him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, 
we have commanded. Number two, you're going to decree. Whatever is absent in my life that should be present, is it a profitable relationship? Is it favor? You know, a bishop says to be favored means to be served first. Even though it will not go around. Is it favor? Is it cancellation of what the doctor said? What is it? Is it evil pattern? Whatever should be present that is not present. Is that the prayer point I raised? Yes. Whatever should be present. We have dealt with those that should be absent. Whatever should be present. Beloved, in spite of the fact that things are quote and unquote difficult, not only in Nigeria but all over the world, people are still building, people are still celebrating, people are still buying cars. Do you notice that no matter how poor a village, a city, a country is, there will still be rich people there. And I'm sure you are one of them. And I'm one of them. Bethlehem Judah, Boaz was there. Elimelech fled. Haba. Headache is peculiar to the carrier. The fact that somebody is sick does not mean you are sick. Therefore, I want you to decree whatever should be present. Whatever will give me joy. By reason of this resurrection, I welcome you. You better welcome it. I welcome you. Favor, blessings, graces, life of impact. My life becomes better and better and better. My family life becomes better. My financial life becomes better. My business life becomes better my career my school everything about me becomes better you better open your mouth and say it this is the house of the lord and angels are here god is here jesus the head of the church is here the holy spirit our resident pastor is here whatever should be present relationships that will take me to the next level In the name of jesus i receive it thank you father In the name of jesus we have prayed Number three, I want you to ask God for anything. This is the blank check. Let's begin to give thanks to the Lord because from our mouths to God's ears in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We have a God in heaven that answers prayers. We give you honor and we give you worship. Blessed be your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we have worshiped. Let our amen be very loud. Bishop was praying for someone this morning and I, was, and I was privileged to be there. He said, the longer you live, the greater your life will be. Mm. Prophetic. We receive it also because it came from our father. The longer we live on this earth, the greater our destinies will be. Amen. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus to this service today. Remember, it's a service where destinies will be service. And we welcome a senior pastor, a bishop. Welcome, sir. This is a part of the agape. Although this is the headquarters, but um, we have other branches. And we thank God that we have access to the bishop every time. Even when the other branches, the other 30-something branches don't. We are grateful to God. Hallelujah. And we honor all our pastors too. The Lord bless you all. Please be seated. Just before we take the Bible reading, I want to share a testimony. Three weeks ago, I was going to the U.S. through London. I was on British Airways and at about four in the morning, just before five, the aircraft landed and I had started thanking the Lord when I noticed that the aircraft took off again. 
Those of you that are familiar with flights, you know that's very unusual. That's very strange. Remember, was it two months ago? Was it in Japan or something? When two aircraft collided. Because one was landing and the other, I don't know what happened. A pilot saw another aircraft and had to take off again. It was not funny at all. The Onyibo man, man behind me said, Ma'am, that was scary. So if a man could say it was scary, I was already reciting Psalm 91. The Lord is, no, that's not the Lord is my shepherd. Psalm 23. You know when there is problem? You don't know whether it is Psalm 23 or Psalm 21. You shall know it is one Psalm. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. Father, my children are still young. My husband is going to be 70. Jehovah, please give the Lord a big hand on my behalf. My husband says it is not normal for things to be normal. Sometimes we take things for granted. Because you went and you returned. You think it's normal. I'm here to say thank you to the Lord. Thank you.